Before we begin today's Ponder Fun video, we want to introduce to you the Friend Magazine skill for families who use Amazon Smart Speakers. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints released this easy-to-navigate skill designed especially for children to help them come closer to Christ. Now, children can easily use their Amazon Alexa Smart Speakers to listen to stories, play songs, and read along with their Friend Magazine in English or Spanish. The Friend Magazine skill is a simplified version of Gospel Voice, an Amazon Smart Speaker skill introduced in 2020 to make it easier to listen to scriptures, music, and general conference talks. Using the Friend Magazine skill is as simple as a child saying, Alexa, read me a story from the Friend Magazine. Primary General President Susan H. Porter said, This new tool can empower your family to find and listen to inspired content in your home. Peace will be brought into your home and your children will be strengthened as they listen to fun, wholesome content about Jesus Christ. To add the Friend Magazine skill to your Alexa device, just say Alexa open the Friend Magazine or enable it on the Alexa Skills Store on Amazon. People who ask Jesus Christ questions like, Who is my neighbor? or How often should I forgive someone? often received answers they did not expect. The Savior often answers our questions in ways that change how we think, feel, and act. When we ask Him with faith and real intent, His answers will lead us to eternal life. Jesus' disciples asked Him, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He set a little child in their midst and said, Verily, except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. He said that whoever humbled himself as a little child would be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Jesus said that if someone offended one of these little ones who believe in him, it would be better for them that a millstone were hung about his neck, and he were drowned in the depth of the sea. He said to take heed that ye not despise one of these little ones, and that their angels always behold the face of my Father which is in heaven. Jesus warned, If thy hand, foot, or eye offend thee, cut them off, and cast them from thee. He said it was better for someone to enter into life halt, maimed, or blind, instead of having two hands, feet, or eyes, and be cast into everlasting hellfire. He said that the Son of Man came to save that which was lost, and told a parable about a man who had one hundred sheep. If one of them went astray, he would leave the other ninety-nine and go into the mountain to find the lost sheep. If he found it, then he rejoiced more for that one lost sheep than for the other ninety-nine who had not gone astray. Jesus taught that it was the will of our Father in heaven that one of these little ones should not perish. He said that if our brother trespassed against us, we should go and tell him what was wrong between us. And then if he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. But if he would not hear you, then you should take one or more with you, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established. Jesus said that whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. He said that if two agreed on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. He also said that where two or three were gathered together in his name, he would be in their midst. Peter asked Jesus how often he should forgive his brother who had sinned against him, up to even seven times. And Jesus told him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. He said the kingdom of heaven was like a king who took account of his servants. A man who owed a debt of ten thousand talents that he could not pay was brought to him. The king then commanded that the man, his wife, children, and all he had be sold to make the payment. The servant fell down and worshipped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. 
The king had compassion, let him go, and forgave the debt. But when the servant found one of his fellow servants who owed him one hundred pence, he took him by the throat and said, Pay me that thou owest. His fellow servant fell down at his feet and said, Have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. But the first servant would not, and cast him into prison until he was able to pay the debt. His fellow servants were very sorry when they saw this, and told the ungrateful servant's lord about it. The lord called in this man who did not forgive his fellow servant, and said, O thou wicked servant, I forgave thee all that debt because thou desirest me. He asked him if he should not also have had compassion on his fellow servant, even as the Lord had on him. The Lord was wroth or angry and delivered the ungrateful servant to the tormentors until he could pay his debt. Jesus then said, So likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if ye from your hearts forgive not everyone his brother their trespasses. In Luke chapter 10, we learn that in addition to his twelve apostles, Jesus appointed seventy disciples and sent them two by two into every city and place in the more hostile southern region of Israel to prepare his way. He said, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. He sent them on their way as lambs among wolves. He told them to not carry a purse, scrip, or shoes, and not to salute any man by the way, possibly referring to their custom of long greetings that could delay their important work of sharing the gospel. When they entered a house, they should say, Peace be to this house. If the Son of Peace be there, your peace shall rest upon it, and if not, it would turn back to them. They should eat and drink what they received in any city they entered, for the laborer is worthy of his hire. Heal their sick, and tell them, The kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. If any city did not receive them, then they should go into the streets and say, Even the very dust of your city which cleaveth on us, we do wipe off against you. Notwithstanding, be ye sure of this, that the kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. Jesus said it would be more tolerable in the day of judgment for Sodom than for that city. Jesus lamented for the cities of Chorazin, Bethsaida, and Capernaum, and said that if the mighty works that had been done in them had been done in the Gentile cities of Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. Jesus said that those who heard his servants also heard him, and those who despised them also despised him and him that sent me. The seventy returned with joy and said, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Jesus told them that he beheld Satan fall as lightning from heaven. He gave them power to tread on serpents, scorpions, the power of the enemy, and said that nothing would hurt them. He told them not to rejoice that the spirits were subject unto them, but to rejoice because their names were written in heaven. Jesus rejoiced in spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. He said that all things were delivered to him, of his Father, and that no man knew who the Son was but the Father, and who the Father was but the Son, and he to whom the Son would reveal him. Jesus told his disciples, Blessed are the eyes which see the things that ye see. He said that many prophets and kings had desired to see what they had seen and to hear what they had heard. A lawyer stood up to tempt Jesus and asked, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus asked him what was written in the law, and the lawyer answered, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy strength, with all thy mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. Jesus said that he had answered right and told him to do this, and he would live. The lawyer wanted to justify himself and asked Jesus, Who is my neighbor? Jesus told a parable about a man who went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves. They stripped him of his raiment, wounded him, and left him half dead. A priest came by, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side of the road. Then a Levite saw him and also passed him by. Finally, a Samaritan saw the man and had compassion on him. Samaritans were Jewish descendants who had intermarried with Gentiles and lived in Samaria. 
Because of this, Jews believed the Samaritans had corrupted themselves and apostatized. In Jesus' time, the animosity between them had lasted for centuries, and Jews would go many miles out of their way to avoid traveling through Samaria. The Samaritan poured oil and wine in the injured man's wounds and bound them up. He set him on his own beast, brought him to an inn, and cared for him. Before he left the next day, he gave the host of the inn two pence, and said, Take care of him, and whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come, I will repay thee. Jesus then asked which of these three men was a neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves. The lawyer answered, He that showed mercy on him. And Jesus said, Go and do thou likewise. Jesus traveled to a village, and a woman named Martha received him into her house. Her sister Mary also sat at his feet and heard his word. But Martha was cumbered about with much serving, and she came to Jesus and said, Lord, dost thou not care that my sister hath left me to serve alone? Bid her therefore that she should help me. Jesus told her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things. But one thing is needful, and Mary hath chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. Jesus gently invited Martha to think differently about how she spent her time, and invite her to choose the good part, just as we need to make daily choices that lead us to eternal life. And this is Matthew chapter 18 and Luke chapter 10 in the New Testament. Look for hidden images located in the video. You can support Ponder Fund by visiting our Etsy site, PonderFund.com website, and our Facebook page to find more fun things to do. Please like and share these videos with anyone you think might enjoy them. Also, please subscribe to this Ponder Fund YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching and find some time this week to ponder.